Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. We cover the sport coast to coast and border to border. Well, Nike has announced another new athlete, this one very deserving. She's number one at 58 for the U.S. women's team. She joins us now. Does Allie Reagan. Allie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Sponsored by Nike. You're in the Nike hot seat today. Coincidental? <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's uh, congratulations time. Thank you. I just got picked up by them. They're awesome. They are very good people, and they understand the growth specifically of women's wrestling, and and uh, you've been kind of the spark plug for Team USA. I want to go back to something that caught my eye, and that's what actually started our phone conversation. And there was a, there was a Facebook posting you put up <laughs> on the 12th of August, and right. it said, true story, when I wrestled <laughs> as a kid and had someone on their back, I would whisper to the ref, please call a pin over and over <laughs> until they finally did. Why did yeah. you do that? Um, I just knew that if I got back to my feet, who knew what was going to happen? So I just wanted to end the match then. So I would, <laughs> I figured that maybe that would convince the ref to call a pin, but I think they were mostly pinned usually, but I don't know. I just got so nervous as a kid wrestling. So you, that's what I'm You were wearing headgear with a special hairnet <laughs> uh, over the top. And then on top of that, you, you you were just a little cutie, but they called you the cutie pinner. <laughs> or the pinning, I'm sorry, I, I messed it up. The pinning cutie, I think is what they called you. Yeah, uh, you that, was felt... actually my, that was actually my dad's headgear because he had longer hair when he was in college and all throughout his like growing up and stuff. So he gave it to me when I was just started. So I always wore his headgear. When I had to. So it's a uh, familial thing. It's a pass down. Is that where you got the passion for wrestling? Yeah, definitely. My dad has been a wrestling coach for probably, he coaches at a high school and he wrestled throughout college. And um, so he's definitely the one who got me started. And I just, ever since then, I was really excited to wrestle. So it's kind of a family thing. Allie McKenzie Reagan joins us. Mm -hmm. uh, She's looking to dominate at the Worlds and pick up gold for Team USA on her way, perhaps, to the Olympic Games in Brazil. Uh, she joins us now from the Olympic Training Center. It's early morning there, and you will be training today. Is it a two-part day? Will you have two training sessions today? Yeah, yesterday we had a tough three days, and um, today it's a drill. And then we go and do world simulation in the weight room. So we have six like off-the-mat different circuits that we do, we're doing five matches today, I think. And um, it's definitely really hard to do outside of the wrestling room world simulations because it's definitely different from the wrestling map. But it's definitely a good and tough day today, and we're just really going to push ourselves. So when you go live, uh, you're wrestling uh, a lot of the same girls at your weight. Is there an opportunity to go up a weight a little bit and even go down a weight? Yeah, definitely. We always mix and match um in our wrestling room so we have a bunch of girls that are in right now and even some guys um so it's good to get in and mix up with any weight and any size and stuff so you've got some great women around you that uh, obviously are your friends um mm -hmm. and whether i nail the friendship part or just teammate part uh we'll we'll let you make those decisions but <laughs> victoria anthony and sally roberts and yeah. Uh, Maggie Keller, uh, Kelly, Sarah Hildebrandt, so many of them. This team has become one for the ages. If you understand what I'm talking about, um, where the team was in development for the past you know, six, seven years, now we're seeing the team one everybody's shooting for and shooting at. Can you guys feel that? Yeah, I mean, we definitely, we don't really feel the pressure as much, but um, we're definitely more of a team now. And I think that all, our whole national team is um, definitely close. And I mean, yeah, we compete against each other and we're our biggest competitions. But at the same time, we know that this is a team that can win a world championship. So everyone on the national team up and down the roster is pushing us world team members to do the best they can when it comes in September. So how many group activities are there planned for you and the other women outside of the room? In other words, uh, uh, what we call team building exercises, whether it's whether it's climbing uh at Helen uh, Falls or, or Helen Hunt Falls or, or wherever. Uh, how many events like that? And are there some that stand out as being, you know, kind of fun? Yeah, we definitely um, have some good team camaraderie. We definitely went, our team leader brought us out to New York City um, at the beginning of July, and we had a blast there. 
Um, we, she's a former soccer player at Columbia. So we got to stay at Columbia and be around New York city the whole time and train before some of us were going to Spain and some of us were going to Pan Am. So we got to train there and experience the life in New York city. So that was really fun team bonding activity. And we really like to go on hikes and like do outdoor activities to get us out of the room. Cause it's, you know, the room's just so much pressure in there and it's good to get out of there and just get fresh air and stuff like that. So we definitely try and get out as much as possible as a team. So that's awesome. Allie McKenzie Reagan. Where does McKenzie come from? I guess I've never asked you that. Um, that's my middle name. I don't know. I just don't really know how to take it off my Facebook because I'm not really good at technology. <laughs> so it's been in there since like I got a Facebook, I think. <laughs> I, like, I like that. But is there a family, besides it being your middle name, it's my right. son's uh, littlest sister's name is McKen Mc McKenzie. Actually, it's McKenna. Oh, okay. It is yeah, I like yeah. the name McKenzie. Uh, they were going to name me that as my first name, but they decided against that. So I guess they just stuck it in there as a middle name. I don't think anyone else in my family is named McKenzie, but I'm not really sure. Well, I think it's a cool name. Obviously, it's fun for announcers to say, so I think we can <laughs> get those right. Uh, let's talk a bit about preparation. Um, if If I was to ask you to be ready to compete uh, within the next two days. Are you guys that close? We're, yeah, we're that close. Um, we're going through a very intense, high intensity and um, really hard work load right now. So I definitely want to take the next two days off because I'm sore right now. <laughs> so I would take those next two days off and then we'd all be ready to compete. But I mean, we've been ready to compete since World Team Trials, since we all made the team. So we're, we're there, we're ready, we're just having more time so it's it's good to peak at the right time and and peaking is so very difficult it's a mm -hmm. uh, uh, i think gable was really the, the first that really focused on it put a name to it years ago uh but uh you know he had his athletes ready to go so many years in a row uh yeah. there, there was there's a formula to a formula as far as what you put in talk to us a bit about coach steiner is he happy with where the team is as we speak yeah, he's definitely happy with us. We had a really tough live practice last night, and he definitely iterated that he that we had a great practice and the intensity was high, just like he wanted, and that we were just out there scrapping. So, and it's great to have his brother Troy in the room as well because both of them together are just a great duo to have. Um, so, I think Terry's really happy where we're at right now, and he knows that we can win as a team and individually all around um, this world. So, he's really excited, and we're all really excited. All right, let's let's go off topic for a moment. We sent a takedown sticker to a listener in North Dakota. A takedown bumper sticker, happen to say takedown, and then uh, Adidas Wrestling on it. Sent it to okay. Valerie Snow, who's a longtime listener and a huge wrestling fan. And somebody within the last 24 hours has already tried to steal the sticker off the glass. Okay. So the question <laughs> is, um, mm -hmm. if you try to steal the sticker off the car, what should be the penalty? We understand what the crime is, but what should be the penalty if they try to take a wrestling sticker off uh, of a car? Wait, uh, can you repeat that last so, part? Yeah, what okay. should be the penalty? So, you know, there's uh, crime and punishment. We know what the right. crime is. What should the punishment be for the sticker stealer? The sticker stealing? Well, mm. I think they should be your practice dummy for executions. <laughs> so if they're going to steal a sticker, then they're going to have to get at least 20 executions done on them. I like that. I like that <laughs> a lot. Like so you, turn it, <laughs> you turn it into a competition uh, yeah. benefit. I like that a lot. So Val Snow, <laughs> Allie Reagan, seems to think that uh, if you find out who tried to steal your, your sticker, then we should, for goodness sakes, we should get him into the wrestling room and let Allie Reagan and the rest of the women's team just go, 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 at least 13 times. Definitely. It sounds like it's going to get bloody to me. All right. So <laughs> besides Nike, uh, you've got a, a team affiliation, a club affiliation. Can you share that with us? Yeah, I'm with New York Athletic Club. I've been with them for many years since I was first on the junior scene. So I thank them for all that they've given me, being able to travel around the country and around the world. So they're an awesome club to be a part of. And, um, yeah, they've been with me since I started on the scene. So I'm really thankful for them. 
Women have been taking the center stage as of late in the world of mixed martial arts, uh, some former wrestlers, of course. Uh, but uh, Ronda Rousey has uh, uh, been picking up uh, so much popularity here at home and around the world as being the woman to beat. I don't know if you saw her last fight. Uh, that, oh, yeah. uh, But if you total up her total number of minutes spent in the octagon, I think it's uh, a little over 25 minutes, and the competition, I think, is a total number of 12 fighters. Uh, and I may be off by one there. The, the question goes to you, as a high-level competitor, a world-class uh, competitor, what do you think of, of uh, Ronda Rousey, and what do you think of women's potential as being the, the true leader? Because right now, she's the biggest name in the UFC. Yeah. I'm a huge Ronda Rousey fan. Um, I grew up doing judo as well. So um, I definitely transitioned into wrestling where she transitioned greatly into um, MMA. So I think that she's just making a great name for women in sport, especially combat sports. So I appreciate everything that she does for women and women in sports. Um, she's definitely just someone to, you got to hate her or love her, but I definitely <laughs> love her and I'm a huge fan. So I just I'm very appreciative of what she does and getting us women out there. So it's definitely great for our for UFC and women's wrestling as well. You can look for Allie Reagan online on Facebook and on Twitter. And a follower, let her know what you think. Surely let her know that you are supporting her and her efforts. She's number one in the world at 58, a recent graduate of King. Uh, favorite place to visit around the world, favorite country or favorite city? Favorite country around the world. I definitely liked when we went to Rome, Italy last year before Worlds. Our Rome, Italy? What did, yeah. Was, what did you find appealing there? The ancient uh, architecture or what? Yeah, that was awesome. And then we were actually staying in Ostia, Italy, which was just like a 20-minute train ride out of Rome. And it was right on the beach. It was beautiful there. Um, so I definitely think that that area... And then you could just take a little train ride into Rome and just see everything that you wanted to see there. So it was awesome. And the gelato was awesome, too. <laughs> <laughs> the, truth, the truth comes out. The gelato is awesome. All right. At five foot four, mm -hmm. my wife is five foot tall. I understand being uh, uh, vertically challenged to a degree. So, <laughs> so my wife, you, and others within that realm seem to enjoy trampolines a lot. Oh, I love trampolines. Yeah. Love trampolines. And <laughs> are you good at it? Um, me and my friends go to Sky Zone and we like to think that we're good at it, but it's just really fun to jump around and uh just have fun with each other and uh I like to think I'm good at trampolines, but I'm not. It makes <laughs> My back flips look better, but other than that, I'm not very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so from trampolines to climbing, do you like to climb? I do like to climb. Um, I like to I like to do the incline a lot, actually. It's just definitely, I don't know why I like to do it, because it's so hard, but it's just like I always have this just urge to go and do the incline, so I really like to do that. and do. I just like being outdoors and being active, so anything that involves that is up my alley. Favorite male teammate, and it, could, and it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be freestyle. It could be. It can be a Greco as well. But favorite male teammate, um, Robbie Smith. Robbie Smith, the striped sock yeah. wonder, big Robbie Smith. Oh yeah, he's awesome. He's he, like a brother to me. <laughs> and you know, he's <laughs> one of my faves too. I think that's a great choice. Uh, we've got uh, precious little time before the world championships. Of course, uh, some of us get there on the third, and then uh, stay till the thirteenth. The world is coming, and I understand it will be a sold out event. Uh, I got to mm -hmm. believe you're pretty excited when it all comes down to it. Your preparation has paid off to get you there. Now the competition will start. Uh, you are you excited? Oh, I'm definitely excited. It hasn't been, world hasn't been in the U.S. soil for so long, and it's so great that it's right before the Olympic year. So um, it's great to be on home turf when we're trying to qualify for our Olympic weights. So it's awesome. Bottled water or uh, treated bottled water? Or treated bottled water. Um, Enhanced water. Regular, um, I like regular water. <laughs> regular water. Are you a yeah. sipper or do you power the bottle? I'm a chugger for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Allie Reagan, I knew it was going to be a fun call. I really appreciate you taking the time to join us, and I want to wish you the best. 
Um, final question, coffee or espresso? Ooh, that's a tough one. I love all, um, but espresso probably. Espresso? Okay. Yeah. I'm there with you. Any sugar? <laughs> um, sometimes it depends what I'm trying to do in the morning. Sometimes I'll make like a soy latte with espresso, but... It just depends. I'm giving it up. All right. Yeah. Always good to talk to you, Allie. We'll look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas at the Orleans Arena, September 7th through uh, the 10th, as we uh, look for the balance of the world to join us. I want to see you in competition starting the 10th as you make your way to the gold medal round. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. And the best Thanks of so luck. Thanks so much.